Hey, Ryan Share here with PCDJ. Uh, this video is to demonstrate how you use our learn function in the software. Uh, what learn allows you to do, it's MIDI learn or keyboard learn in this instance as well. Uh, it allows you to easily map keyboard commands, keyboard shortcuts, uh, however you wish, to any function of the software, uh, as well as map your own DJ controller. Uh, so if for instance, we don't already support your controller natively, uh, meaning we haven't written in full support ourselves, uh, so you can just plug it in and go. Uh, you can map it yourself. So all you have to do is have it plugged in when you open the software. Make sure your drivers are installed, of course, for your MIDI device. Uh, and then this, this video actually applies to DEX2 and Red Mobile 2. The learn buttons do the same thing. They're just located in different places on the skin, on the default skin. Uh, so first thing you want to make sure you do is enter options, have your controller connected, of course, go under the audio MIDI tab. Uh, it'll show your MIDI device, any uh, MIDI controller that's connected. If you have multiple de uh, multiple devices, you'll see a couple options, obviously, uh, one for each device. Uh, so you would select the MIDI device you wish to map. You would highlight it so it's highlighted just like that in the top of the MIDI, uh, MIDI in box here. Uh, and then you would just hit OK. So that would make sure that, okay, now the software is now listening for that controller, so to speak. So the next thing you would do is hit learn on screen. Now you'll see it instantly will light up or uh, it kind of highlights, puts a little dotted blue line around all the available features on screen. So you would then uh, click the button on screen you wish to map. So for this uh, demonstration, I'm just clicking the play button on play on deck one. You have four decks on the default uh, deck skin. So you're going to click the play button. Now all you would do is click the corresponding button on the controller you want to map. Obviously, in this demonstration, that would be the play button on the uh, deck A or deck one on the controller you're using. And it would map it. Now I don't have one connected, but I will use my keyboard because you can you, uh, map the keyboard the same exact way. So you just hit learn, click the button on screen you want to map, and then click the button on the keyboard you want to map it to. I just mapped it to F2. You see that? It'll actually show you the F2. Now, if it's a slider, it's a little bit different because you have, you know, you can go up or down uh, on the slider or uh, minus or plus. So you can click on the slider. The first button you hit is going to be up. The second button you're going to hit is going to be down. You'll see it'll say one, two. Now, after you've mapped these functions, uh, after you're done and you've gone through all the buttons you want to map and all the sliders, uh, you just hit learn again. And it'll exit out of learn mode and it will save that setting permanently. So every time you have the controller connected, or of course, if you're using the keyboard, those shortcuts are going to be remembered. So if I hit, I'll just throw up a song. Real quick. And if I hit F2 on my keyboard. As you see, it works. So that was my F command. Let's the slider will move down or up with the one and two keys that I just mapped as well. So it's pretty easy to map your own controller. We made it really functional that way. Uh, I will say that jog wheels, uh, mapping the jog wheels on your controller, um, especially if it's a rotating jog wheel, if it moves, um, like some of the Denon controllers, it's best off we map that here. Um, every, jo every controller uh, jog wheel has different resolution, uh, meaning the points of information it's reading per resolution or revolution uh, of that jog wheel. Uh, so for fine-tuned, really tight control for scratching and things like that. It's best that we map the, the jog wheel itself. But other than that, all the other functions can be easily mapped using that learn button on screen. Again, click the button you want to map. Click the corresponding button on your controller or the keyboard that you want to map it to. Just make sure that you've highlighted and, and uh, again, in MIDI, audio MIDI, highlight the MIDI device you want to map and then hit OK. That means the software is now listening for those learn commands. After you hit learn, select the button, click the corresponding button on the controller or the keyboard, hit learn again to exit learn mode, and it's mapped. And it will save that map. 